The lightning bug is a great fly, deserving space in everyone's fly box. I like to fish these year round in various colors to imitate different species with great results. Today I'll show you my go-to lightning bug for the summer. A list of the materials that I use to tie this fly can be found in the description below. Begin the fly by laying down a thread base, ending the thread between the hook point and the barb of the hook. Pheasant can be used for the tail, however, I prefer to use Coke de Leon hen. Separate about 8 to 10 fibers, and when you have the tips aligned, remove them from the stem. Measure the tail about 3 quarters the length of the shank, and tie in the tail at the point where you left the thread. Once the fibers are secure, move your thread up to just behind the bead, and cut the remainder of the fibers. Place your wire along the shank of the hook, and secure it just behind the bead, wrapping back, ending at the tail. The body of the fly is hollow tinsel. In this case, I am going to use brown. Tie it in at the tail, and wrap it forward to secure it. Any irregularities in the body will be exaggerated by the hollow tinsel. So once everything is secure, use your thread to smoothen out the body and to create a slight taper. Take the hollow tinsel and wrap it forward, making sure each wrap overlaps the one before it. Hollow tinsel is very slick material. To prevent it from slipping out, tie it off behind the bead, and after cutting the tag, wrap back towards the two-thirds point of the fly. If you are using a rotary vise, you can put a couple of half hitches in at this point. Then you can use the rotary function to counter wrap the wire to create segments. Otherwise, just counter wrap the wire forward to create the segments. Tie off the wire just past the two thirds point of the fly and cut or helicopter the wire. Move your thread to the two-thirds point of the fly and tie in another piece of tinsel directly on top of the shank. Tie in two pieces of peacock curl and wrap them several times to create a thorax. Tie off the peacock behind the bead by taking wraps on either side of the fibers, locking them into place. Take a Coque de Leon feather and trim the top off, then pull 6 to 8 fibers back on either side to create a V shape. Place the V in front of the bead, and pinching the fibers on either side, take two wraps of thread. Once the fibers are in place, cut them free with your scissors. Try not to cut them too close, as we want little butt ends sticking out. Pull the hollow tinsel over to create a wing case. When you tie off the wing case, make sure that the thread falls in front of the Coque de Leon fibers. This will fold them over and prevent them from slipping out, adding to the durability of the fly. 
After placing a couple of wraps on top of the tinsel, place a couple of wraps in front of it as well, locking it into place. Using the same method as we did with the Coque de Leon, trim your tinsel with a little piece remaining. When you whip finish the fly, make sure the wraps fall in front of the tinsel and fold it back. This simple step will add to the durability of the fly, preventing the slippery material from being pulled out. The lightning bug is hands down one of my favorite nymph patterns. I fish them all the time and tie them in about 12 different colors. If you fish a different color of lightning bug or make different variations, let us know in the comments. I'd love to see what other people do with this fly. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks again and tight lines.